everybody. Hooray! This is so exciting. Truly, I'm delighted to see this room, beautiful faces, good friends, for an extremely important topic. We're here to talk about the subject of the Commission on Social Development that is going on right now. Has everybody been to the meetings? Yes? Awesome. And today, our event is about youth and poverty and mental health and well-being, an extremely important triumvirate of issues. We are absolutely delighted that mental health and well-being is in the Sustainable Development Goals in Target 3.4. And <laughs> yes, Chair, Ambassador Otto has been very um, important in making that happen. We have other ambassadors here, Ambassador Bogue from Hungary, Ambassador Lois Young from Belize, who were also very supportive. The Belgian mission and here supported and represented by Pascal Buffin um, has been very supportive. So we have our friends of mental health here um, and many more uh, who have supported mental health, which is extremely important for sustainable development. We are going to focus on the means of implementation because that is what is going on now with regard to how are we going to implement and make sure that mental health and youth are involved and that we help them to rise out of poverty and to develop um, in their communities. And so we have three programs we're going to present that actually show that. You will be very excited to see them. I know I am. They're very important to me. One is from the United States here. Another is from Africa. And a third is from Afghanistan. So it covers the different areas. And we also have a representative from the E who's doing work in, with regard to the EU. So we're covering the regions in order to make sure that young people rise out of poverty, have chances really in life, and we support and empower them with their well-being. So we also are going to be treated to a play, an original play written by young people about this issue. You will hear about it from them directly and a song. So we love to do this with regard to using the arts also to really empower young people and to show this issue. I'm, I'm also going to put on the spot a good, another good friend uh, the ambassador of Hungary, um, Ambassador Caitlin Bogier, who's been very, uh, a very good friend in this entire campaign for mental health and well-being, and particularly with regard to youth, and who has, um, knows all about the arts um, as well. So she has the whole package. Um, first of all, it is always a joy and privilege to be with you together, Judy, because you really bring sunshine into our lives here in the UN, and uh, we, we like that. Uh, we really appreciate that. Thank you very much um, for creating this lunch uh, story, something into a different type of togetherness as we normally uh, used to have here in the UN. What I wanted to say that obviously it's great that we are all young here today. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's, probably, that's, that's probably the greatest message to all of us because, yes, we are. I, I, don't, I don't feel my age at all because it is all inside. I feel totally young. And I tell you why, because I learn every day, because I'm open to all the new voices, uh, images, messages, and I'm open to, um, to join forces with such ambassadors, then the ambassador of Palau and all our friends, because we really believe that we are here because of a purpose. Somehow, this uh, representation, what we have to do in the UN, comes with a purpose. It's not only pure politics. It's somehow behind the scene that we all feel we have to do something extra. 
Uh, Hungary is, of course, very uh, uh, um, uh, interested in this topic. We just become a member of the Human Rights Council, so we are very strongly working in this subject. Uh, I'm promising you, uh, obviously, in, uh, in terms of the Commission of Social Development, we are also very active, and um, we are also very active in the UN Committee on the Rights of the Persons with Disabilities. And what I wanted to share with you, that everyone has got a problem in this topic. It's not that there are rich countries and poor countries and developed countries and developing countries. Um, uh, what we've been doing uh, in, in Hungary, we created a, a very strong national child and, and adolescent health plan. So from the birth of the children, we are looking after them and immediately when we feel um, that there is a help needed, uh, we are helping them to find a place where the help can be given. Uh, having said that, uh, obviously we have a, a, a special a challenge in my country because the disadvantaged youth we find, especially in the Roma uh, 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 societies. So I'm learning and listening and also would like to share with you what, what we have done in this uh, field. And I think this is very good that we can meet here regularly in the UN, uh, representatives of the governments, um, politicians, civil society, and professionals. And yes, Judy, that's true. As we've been once musicians, we really believe in music therapy because this brings us together to a kind of sharing experience. We share experiencing something together, which is, which is inspired by music. And thank you very much for the young actors and the, the, the singers. Um, they took us to another dimension today. So thank you very much. Thank you. You can tell the articulation of a television reporter. <laughs>